Hi everyone! Today we will learn about only how to change the header. I will give you the codes and all, but we will be only changing the header, which includes search bar, logo, and create character icon and our profile icon beside it. If you have noticed, then there are lots of changes on how to edit the CSS codes and where you can enter them. I will just show you around on how to use it, and then we will directly jump into how to change the header. Here the box popped up will be used to put in our codes. Focus on the cursor on the screen. These tools are going to help us in editing. You will understand when I will show you when I'm editing the profile. Now, we will discuss on how to edit the top bar. Select the customization, and then select the top bar in it from the drop-down box beside the pick element option. You can either select the element using the pick element option, like I'm showing you on the screen. Simply select top bar, like I'm showing you on the screen. Click on the customization tools, and the screen will pop up. Here you can edit the top bar. As you can see, my top bar is already in black color. Just type in background color, and write your desired color name. The first line will be already given. When you select the top bar option, all you have to do is write the background color in the second line. Make sure you add colon at end. Now, write your desired color name. It can be anything. Write it in hex code or just the name. Blue, pink, hot pink, brown, any desired color. Or you can write the hex code like I have taught you in the previous videos. You can not only add simple colors, we can add radical gradient colors or vertical gradient colors. What I want is black, so let me just add gray too. So I don't know how to write it. So I am asking ChatGPT. I tried to copy and paste everything, and I was not able to do it. Apparently, I was not able to delete the first line and the third line. So I simply copied only the background color and pasted it in second line. Now you can add any colors. If you want any specific shade, just go with the hex code. That will be more clear than simply saying black and gray. You can see that the color is from right to left. You can simply delete it and right to left. Observe the screen very carefully. To match my aesthetics of my background, I'm going to simply go with black top bar and make sure you save it. If you don't save it, you are going to lose what you typed in. So now that's the very clear version of the top bar editing. I have give you the lines which I have to type in the second line of the code. Now we will focus on the search bar at the top. Follow what I am showing you on the screen. I may not be able to explain everything, but I will show you the uncut video of how I am going to edit it. Select the search bar from the drop down and then choose the background color of your own wish. 
If it is one solid color, it might not look too good as you think. It might look like one big block of color. You can't even read the inside text of the search bar. So I do not wish it to look so odd and off. So I want to make it less opaque so that you can read the text of the search bar. I will now open the chat GPT and with the help of AI, we will come up with the code. I will give you the code which I have used at the end of explaining you everything. Just focus on the screen on how I am asking ChatGPT and how I am applying it back in Janitor AI. The color here looks very odd and ashy to me, so I am going to change it. I will keep trying to get to the desired color, which I want. You can even go with radical radiant and linear radiant colors too.
I will give you all the codes which I have used. Take a screenshot if you like. Let's start with logo, logo name, and logo subname. It is quite jumbled. Just make sure to watch till end. In logo, the background was transparent. Because the top bar was black, that's why the logo looks black, but it isn't black. Make sure to add it. After adding the background, I will show you at the end how to remove the glow and the borders because it's quite jumbled. Now here in the logo name, I want it to be in pink, so I just went with only pink color. You can add your own desired colors. Focus on the customization tools and what I'm typing in and at the janitor logo and how it is changing. After editing the color of the janitor, we will move to the beta part. Select the subname from drop down and just add any desired color you want it to be. Now we have added color to our logo. I will give you all the entire code at the end. Now we will focus on the font of our logo. We are done with color. Now comes the font of the logo. Select the logo name and choose what font you want. I wanted something cursive. So chat GPT went with dancing script. You can't always use the other fonts. Just focus on the screen. Now select the sub logo, which is beta. I tried different fonts with it, but I didn't see much change. I have selected a simpler font at the end. Okay, so I didn't record which font I was going to go with for beta. I also changed the color of it and moved it a bit lower. I'm so sorry I cannot show you that, but I will give you the code at the end. In the upcoming video, you can observe those changes in the beta sub name. In the upcoming video, we will remove the blue glow from the logo name and make the background of the logo smooth black with no glow and no borders.
I will give you all these codes later. Now that I have cleared glow in the name, we will remove the glow from the borders of the logo. I can't give you codes here. Just check the description box under. I wanted to talk about the create character button and the discord button, but I lost the recording of it. I'm so sorry, but I will just give you the codes in the description. I have watched my previous videos, but you will understand them easily. But if you are a new member, don't fret. You can just simply ask ChatGPT. Okay, we are done with the video. In the next part, let's discuss about the picture icon beside the Discord button and the profile customization. Take care.